height of sophistication, elegance, culture. Since my boutique in Canterlot has been doing so nicely, it only makes sense for me to open one there as well. Continuity. Hello everybody, my name is Freedom Flash and today I will be giving an overinflated opinion on the gift of the Maud Pie. Now as we just saw, Pinkie Pie and Rarity will be in this episode, but can you guess who the third pony is? You know what that spells? It spells Maud. Yes, it's Maud Pie, one of Pinkie Pie's three sisters. You know, the one that's about as expressive as her pet rock. So Pinkie Pie is visiting Manhattan with Rarity because... Wait, why is she here again? And since Maud's getting her rock to it nearby, we figured this would be the perfect spot for Pssst. Pssst. Not Pssst. Pssst. P-S-S-S-D. Pie Sister Surprise Swap Day. <laughs> and thus begins the downwards trend. So Pssst is an event where Pinky hangs out with one of her sisters for the day and then at the end of the day they exchange gifts. And therein lies the main plot of the episode as Pinky still needs to purchase Maud's gift of a rock pouch. PLEASE HELP ME! Only if you let go of my leg and stand up! Actually, I don't mind this one. So Pinky and Maud explore the city, seeing the sights, while Rarity searches for a new boutique location. Just like Maud's gonna lose her mind when she sees the gift I'm giving her! <laughs> but not half as breathtaking as the gift I'm giving you! <laughs> the gift I'm giving Maud! <laughs> I'm noticing a pattern here. A pony could get used to eating at places like this! I know. It's the only restaurant in the city with Nephilim cyanite in their bathroom tiles. Fun fact, Nephilim cyanite is very similar to granite, except that its colour ranges into dark greens. So Rarity distracts Maud whilst Pinky goes to get the rock pouch. Unfortunately, the shop owner has gone on surprise holiday to Canterlot with their grandniece. Hello, Mr. Pink Star Owner! Also, the service in this place is incredible. Glass on his new best pony. So now Pinky and Rarity must find a new gift for Maud. Which is a problem because Maud is literally impossible to shop for. Also, we get guest appearances from the Twily Kane, the Shark Room Episode 100, the Inspiration Manifestation, and the Smarty Pants doll. And now Rarity spots the pouch and <clears throat> introducing my least favorite pony after spoiled Rich and Sven Gallop. This guy's a sleaze ball, and that's only the first reason I hate him. So Pinky trades the rock pouch for a party cannon, and this is a big deal! So that's why we saw so much of the party cannon this episode. Also, this reminds me of something, but I can't think what it is. So Rarity notices Pinky's a bit down, and... But you're Pinky Pie. You're supposed to be all, oh, I'm so excited I got the rock pouch. And I know I say excited a lot when I'm actually just kind of excited, but this time I'm really excited about how excited I am about being this excited over the rock pouch. And then you fire off your party cannon. Present time, and Maud's gift is? It's little pieces of cupcake scented paper. You know, confetti for your cannon. Nope, still not getting it. So through some awkward plot pushing, Maud finds out about the party cannon and goes to get it back. And then we get this little gem. How did you know where he'd be? Maud sense. Runs in the family! Okay, so Maud can not only punch boulders to rubble, she can also locate anyone with her Maud sense. That's just cool. It also begs the question what powers the other two might have. And then... Uh, this is the second reason I have this character. He's sympathetic. As I said, he's a sleaze ball. But show me any character that's sad or afraid and I will immediately sympathise with them. And I don't like sympathising with this guy! And that's the second problem I have with this episode overall. This scene is... Wrong. True, this character is dislikable, but he hasn't actually done anything wrong. And he does not deserve this. But we've got the party cannon back and Rarity finds a location for a new boutique. Closing remarks. Plot. Everyone's had the perfect gift planned for someone, only for it to go horrendously wrong. And everyone knows the panic when that happens. So while believable, there are some points I believe could have been done better. Comedy. Eh. The cringe comedy early on turned me off, so I actually missed some of the other stuff the first time round. But if you like cringe comedy, this will probably be less of an issue. I'm Freedom Flash, and thanks for watching.